it's James from xrobots.co.uk. Today we're going to be working on the last significant part of Iron Man's armour, the bun plate, for want of a better name for it. Also we're going to be working on the hip pods. Um, that's pretty much the last piece I haven't painted or attached with any sort of strapping, or at least the last significant piece, and it prevents the suit from being worn for obvious reasons. So after that hopefully we'll be to do a full suit up. First of all I'd like to remind you about my Patreon campaign. Have a look at patreon.com slash xrobots. If you contribute as little as $1 a month, you can get some exclusive rewards, including access to a live broadcast with me, access to an exclusive subreddit to discuss topics with me, and also all my digital downloads for free. Have a look at the page and help me achieve my goals. So here's the existing bum plate, which I've got. All the pieces of my um, suit were made from moulds. This one is cast in polyurethane. The moulds were made from a foam suit which I made, so if you have a look back through my website articles on Iron Man, the, the very first suit was foam, then I made moulds out of silicon off the foam suit, and all the pieces were cast from that. So there are several imperfections which are where the seams were in the original foam, which were made from Pepecura templates that I modified by hand. So um, originally I thought this piece had come out slightly too small. Um, once I've got the other abdomen armour and the kidney armour on, the front and the back don't seem to quite reach. Um, it's not that bad, there's probably only about an, uh, less than an inch of gap there, although um, originally they were one piece in foam which I cut in half, then I made moulds off the front and the back, and now somehow they don't reach, which is a bit weird. Um, the angle of them isn't quite right either, I think I want to angle this in slightly. So the piece that needs to go in there is probably a triangular piece. Um, so I was going to rebuild this out of foam PVC, um, otherwise known as foam X or Sintra, but I think what I'm actually going to do is just make a bridge piece out of foam PVC and make that part of the latching system to hold the front and the back on. So here's the front of the suit. Um, the front of this, uh, call it the cod plate if you will, is actually sprung with a piece of elastic. So there's um, a 3D printed piece at each side and at the back of the abdomen plate and there's a piece of bungee you can possibly just see there stretched between them and that's what holds it on. So I'm going to do the same thing with this at the back of the armour and then as I say we're going to put in a, a bridge piece between them and then there'll be some sort of elastic latching system that holds that onto the side just there holding the two together. Um, we've got a bit of a consideration which is the strapping system I showed you in the last video that holds up the thighs um, however the buckles seem to fit quite nicely under this where it slopes outwards and they'll also give us a handy place to attach the hip pods. So I 3D printed some parts. What we've got are these two kind of, um, well, it's kind of a plug and a socket really. One is just a, a flat piece with a tab on it. The other one is that sort of shape. Um, so between the front and the back armor, one will fit onto one piece and it will plug into the other one like so. And then we've got a hook piece which goes somewhere there, and we have a bungee stretch from the hole on this lump over to here, which holds the two together, and it also holds them flat because this can't rotate in the slot. Then on the actual pieces of armour themselves at the back, we've got the same thing we had at the front, which is um, a mechanism which a bungee can snap into, and that will be fitted onto the back of the torso. And then these pieces, which have a bungee which is stretched, these are actually fitted onto this plate, and that um, has a bungee stretched between all of them, so this can move around. It's kind of like two bits of bungee stretched over, so uh, that can move around. That's the same way I did the ab plate and the cod plate. So obviously this piece is contoured and these are flat because they've come off the flat 3D printer bed, so we need to get the hot air gun and bend these around to match the uh, contour of the suit and get the front and the back so they plug in nicely. So I've glued in the receptacles there and I've got these pieces which obviously plug in each side so I just need to bend these round to match the actual contour obviously um, that won't fit otherwise because these um, kind of come together at a curve and I've also made these little bridge sections which are just triangles of uh, Sintra or Fomex which just get the angle right um, to, so it fits me perfectly, um, which I mentioned at the beginning. So those will actually be fitted on this half, and this thing will bridge the gap and be trimmed and shaped to fit the contour so that everything fits together snugly. So let's get these pieces curved up with a hot air gun and try and get all that together.
So the hip pod um, was originally this, which I did so, well, a couple of years ago now it must be, which I designed in Autodesk 123D was the beta release. And then I had this printed at Shapeways and it's very, very thin to save money on the size of it because they charge by the cubic centimeter. Um, I then made a mold from it, which is this silicon mold and cast this solid one. Um, I've actually found this is far too big now and obviously you could make a hollow cast of fiberglass or something but I need to fit a reed switch in to operate the menu system of the electronics. So um, basically the plan is to completely create this from scratch now I've got my own 3D printer. So using the new version of Autodesk 123D design which is free software um, it doesn't appear to down, uh, open the old version of the files from the beta release, so I had to draw this part from scratch. So I've made this um, its pretty much almost identical apart from being slightly smaller. Um, and also I've uh, I made it hollow, so it's got this hollow cutout and it's got this sort of recess which is to allow the strap that holds the thighs on to pass through. So the buckle is inside and I've got space there to fit my magnetic reed switch which um, is going to control the menu system of the electronics. So I mentioned that in my electronics video and there's some more coming on that in future videos. So that's going to be a magnetically operated switch in there. So here are my printed hip pods. And there's the gap in the middle, the back's a bit messy where the support material was. I've actually found that the strap um, down to the thigh doesn't go precisely through the hip pod, it's actually off centre to the back, which is what I did in the last part with strapping the thighs. Um, so I need to find another solution to hang these on. Essentially it'll probably be a strap or a bungee that goes along the back. And then we've got space, as I say, for the reed, uh, reed switch and the electronics in the middle. This one I've already painted up in a bit of grey primer. So we'll get some uh, red on those and then they'll be ready for the suit. So all of the pieces are together. We've got the, uh, the back of the torso there with its straps across, the uh, elastic bungees that hold that in place so it's slightly flexible. And we've got the tabs and everything on with the bungee. So if we unhook these, then we should find the front comes away on both sides. And those are the tabs there which I've bent up with heat so they fit. Um, hopefully that makes it easier to get on. We can just plug this together again. It does help hold them so that they, the angles correspond. And then we can just clip those back on. We'll see how easy that is um, once I'm actually wearing it, I guess. And then, um, as before, the front of the cob plate has its own bit of bungee, which attaches it to the ab plate. So, I guess you want to see a whole suit up then. So there we go, there is the whole suit so far, with the exception of the hands, which are, I haven't got on because I've still got wires hanging out of them, and I need to go and return to those when I do the electronics. Also obviously don't have the helmet on because that's in the same state, it's just behind me here, but I still haven't ever wired in the eyes or the electronics. Um, on the whole, I'm feeling not too bad. Um, it's probably the most unwieldy thing you could ever wear. Um, there's still a few issues with, you know, the knee pieces banging when I turn my legs. But the knee fill-in pieces are going to be big soft pieces, I think, so that's going to cushion that to some extent. Um, around the thighs, not so sure. Um, it seems to fit okay. I've got my bum plate on. Um, you can see there's a gap where I changed the angle, but obviously it would stick out far too much otherwise, compared to me. So I've got a few bits to paint on the back. You'll notice the gold section is missing from the back of the torso, as is the spine. Obviously the neck seal needs to be made, some various other fill-in sections, um, which I'll be doing in subsequent videos. So I'm just going to uh, pose around a bit, let you have a look. Maybe just put the camera down a bit and you can um, have a closer look at my legs. Can't really bend my knees much. I could probably just about walk upstairs, it's not too bad. Also quite flexible, I guess not having that knee hinge is really quite helpful. So uh, still got the backs of the heels to fill in, which I haven't done as yet. Uh, but on the whole, kind of feeling like I could walk around in it, go shopping or something like that. Not going to attempt to roll a disco just yet, but there we go.
So I managed to get that off again. Here's uh, a quick shot of all the pieces which I've got laid out here. Um, I need to put those back on the dummy now. So uh, the next video, as I say, is going to be doing the fill-in sections. I also have all of the electronics still to install in the torso and in the helmet. So check out my Facebook page for sneak peeks and updates from other projects. Subscribe to my channel and also check out my Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash xrobots. You can find the links in the description to this video.